Howdy folks and welcome. Alright, I'm going to show you how I uh, play Anno 2070 basically. I like to uh, just use a single island, which I know completely goes against the whole premise of the game, but <laughs> I'm going to show you how I do it. So as you can see, I was uh, very lucky and I stumbled across a beautiful island uh, right at the get-go. The only downside uh, with this island was that it didn't have uh, for, uh, room for a hydroelectric dam, which really doesn't matter that much. Um, and more importantly, it, it didn't have any rivers at all, so uh, making concrete actually becomes difficult you know, further down the road. Uh, yeah, as you can see, I've decided to play as the tycoons because I think they're friggin' awesome. I'm not interested in those tree-hugging egos in the slightest, and I have no idea why <laughs> everyone loves them. Anyway, so I'm just setting up my town center thingy there, whatever they call it. I like to use the the corridor layout. Just makes things simpler, I find. Neater. Now, how am I going to do this? While I'm being attacked by bloody pirates? Grr. Anywho. Uh, it's as simple as buying the needs that you require. That's all there is to it. Now, in this video, I did produce the tier 2 needs for my citizens, but I didn't really need to. Alright, here we go, slapping down some distilleries. Uh, now, I always produce the tier 1 needs myself because I found that you just can't buy them uh, fast enough or enough of them to satisfy the citizens. So, there you go. Now, behold, this is perhaps the most important part. You've got to explore and find the NPC arcs. Because without them, be you're screwed. This is where you're going to get all your various resources from. You set up a passive trade in your island warehouse, and they'll mosey on over and sell you some good stuff. And here we go. There's no sand on this island, so I have to buy it. And as you can see, I'm raising the buy price just a little bit because that gives them more incentive to actually sell to me. So I've set myself up to buy sand and I'm going to produce the rest of the resources myself to, com to create concrete. And here's another important part of the single island strategy. Uh, you've got to sell your excess goods. Now I do that using smart trade routes which you'll see me click up the top right there that's the one and that means that the ship won't leave the harbour until it's got all the goods designated and you've got to make sure that you set it to an amount that it can carry because if you tell it to, to take you know 60 I don't know iron and it can only carry 40 it's going to screw up it's not going to leave but that's how I get rid of my excess stuff. And so I don't keep having that message, you know, production halted. I hate that. <laughs> Alright, as you can see, I'm setting up my own convenience food production. Which I don't normally do. I, I don't know why I felt like doing it this time, but hey, that's what I did. Now here you can see me setting up my steel production. Which usually I use as one of my main sources of trade income because usually I don't go too far above the second tier of citizens uh, because that's when you get uh, weapons and you know I just focus on the the lower tech ships and whatnot if I feel like you know doing some shooting uh, but this time I've gone all the way to the end and so I'm uh, setting up my steel for construction. Oh yes. 
Now apparently the NPCs want a piece of me, so here I am setting up my defenses. Now I've tried a few configurations like having them way back on the shore so that they, sort of, they come in to attack the buildings and the turrets get them. But I think in my experience the best way to to put these things in is as you can see like sort of a wall protecting the buildings and the ships and definitely the more the merrier when it comes to these turrets and you always want them in range of the repair crane because they'll take a beating like nobody's business here I am putting in the tier 3 needs buildings now I've set my warehouse to purchase the, the base goods rather than the finished product because it's a hell of a lot cheaper. And behold, the tier 4 needs buildings. Now this is exciting. I've uh, set my warehouse to purchase diamonds, which are pricey, and gold. I believe it's just called gold. Called gold. So I process the gold along with some coal. Uh, into the gold bars and then the bars and the diamonds into the jewelry and finally the big cheese setting up the space for a monument da 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 and there it is folks a single island with the Russian and Greenpeace leveling my harbour every 10 minutes but I did it I built that monument. It shall stand as a some kind of magnificent thing that means something for my marvelous city. Anywho, <laughs> I'm Ricardo, the modern day minstrel, and this is how you survive in Anno 2070 on a single island. Take it easy. Ricardo, out.